Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I have decided to make a few videos giving each of the characteristics uh, of chapter one, uh, systems characteristics. And, and uh, this is the first video. And since time invariance is one of the very important parameters, so we'll start with that. And in this, we'll be solving the seven examples, which are actually part of end chapter problem 1.27. So first of all, let's define our first example is uh, this yt is equal to xt minus 2 plus x2 minus t. Now to solve this example, we'll, we'll go through the definition as time invariance. A system is time invariant if the behavior of the system does not change over time. Now the strategy that we'll follow in solving is that first of all, we'll delay the signal. This is XT is the our input signal. We'll delay the signal by a delay mechanism or a delay system by t0. So xt will now become xt minus t0. And then we'll convert through uh, the, our main system or through the transfer system, which will convert x into y, that is input into y. So in this case, we'll, it will be converted to uh, yt minus t0. So this is the first step. The second step will do opposite of this, that first we'll convert the system, that is x input into yt, and then we'll pass it through a delayed circuit, and the output, let's say we call it y dash t. And now this output could have either equal to y t minus t0, which is the same like this, and if it is equal to the first case, then we'll call that the system is time invariant because there has been no change in the output because of changing the position of the systems. But if it is not same, then we'll say that it, that it is not time invariant. That means it is varying with time. So I'll not be repeating this in all the pro problems, but I'll just reproduce so you can recall, so let's do the first example. First example will first of all change uh, the axis by t minus. So x t minus zero, x t, uh, sorry, x t minus two will be delayed by t zero, will become x minus two minus t zero. And similarly, the second term will also be delayed by t zero, will become like this. So after delaying, we have the system. The output will now be this input. This is the delayed input. So this input plus the second delayed input. So this is the output of the first case. Now we'll move to the second case. Now in the second case, this was the answer for the first. In the second case, we replace t by t0. This is very important that you keep in mind. Wherever there is t, we'll replace that. And so, in this question, we'll replace t by t0. So if we delay the output yt by t0, that is replace t by t0, what will happen? We're, re we're replacing this t by t minus t0, this t by t minus t0. And simplifying, we get this answer. Now, if you see, there is difference between equation one and equation number two. There is, there is a negative sign, we have a positive sign. So they are not same. And if they are not same, they are not time invariant. So equation one is not equal to equation two. And therefore, the system is not time invariant, that is, it is varying with time. This was the first example. This is the second example, example B will follow exactly the same technique, but I'll urge that you go through each of these examples so you have a firm grip on time invariance. 
Okay, so this was the theory part. This is the question. First we change xt, only xt by t0. So xt is delayed by t0, that means xt will now become xt minus t0 in this. And so our output will become yt t0 cos t remains same, only x is changing. So this is our first equation. And now we will go to the second equation that is we replace t by t naught at t minus t naught. This is the equation we replace all the t's wherever it is by t minus t zero. So this will be replaced. This t is also replaced. And this t is also replaced. And now you can compare the two equations, 1 and 2, and you can obviously see the difference. This is cos 3 in bracket t minus t0, but this is only cos 3t. So they are not same. Equation 1 and 2 are not same. And therefore, the system is not time invariant. That is, it has varied with time. Part C, integral. So apply the first method, delay the input xt by t0. So this is here xt or x tau in this case. In, in case of an integral, we change the variable. So xt delayed by t0 will be x tau minus t0 actually. So putting x tau minus t0, we get this equation. This is our the final output for the first scenario. Now we come to the second scenario. What we have to do? We have to change all the t's, not tau. If we delay the output t0, that is replace t by t minus 0. So we're replacing this t here, replacing this t here, but not the tau, keep in mind. And now if we compare the two, you can see there is a difference. The limit has changed. This is 2t and this is 2t minus t0. So obviously 1 and 2 are not same. And therefore, the system is not time invariant. Okay, next is, this is very important, very tricky. You have to be really careful. Okay, the input 0 for t less than 0 and this is the value for t greater than or equal to 0. Following same same technique, delay all the x's by t0. So xt will now become xt minus t0. This will be t minus 2 minus t0. So this is the delayed part. Now we'll plug in to get the answer output. So the output will be 0 and here we have just plugged in the changed value. So this is our equation number 1. Now equation number 2. What we have to do? Replace all t by t0. Remember replace all t by t0. So we have replaced it here, y t. We replace t by t0. We replace this t by um, t minus t0 and I thought this is the answer and they look same, everything is same but what we forgot is that we did not change these two t's we have to replace every t by t0 so when we replace this then what will happen, this t will also be changing from t minus t0 less than 0 and that means t is less than t0 and similarly in the second case so now the conditions are changed this and this condition not same and therefore they are there's a condition change between equation 1 and 2 hence the system is not time invariant it is varying with time 
Okay. This is exactly similar to the previous one, except that instead of a T, we have now condition of XT. Well, I'm saying technique, subtracting T naught from here, so we delay by T zero, so we get this equation. So our output will be putting in these values here. So this is our equation number one, and remember, this xt has also been delayed by minus t and this xt has also been delayed by minus t naught okay so this is equation number one now for equation number two we have to replace every t by t minus t zero so replace every t by t minus zero this is replaced this is replaced this is replaced and same as these and now if you compare the two equations, can you find any difference? No, there is no difference. So that means they are same. Equation one is equal to equation two. Hence the system is time invariant. That is, it does not change with time. So this is the first case of time invariant that we found. And F is Y X T over three. So yt is xt divided by 3, changing or delaying it, it will be x t over 3 delayed by minus 3. So our output will now become this equation. And now for the second, we have to replace t by t minus 0, so we replace this t by t minus 0. So this is our second equation. And now if we compare equation number 1 and 2, you can see there is a visible difference. And therefore, the equation 1 and 2 not same. And therefore, the system is not time invariant. And finally, we have this, y is dx t dt. Same technique will follow. We'll change xt, delayed xt by t0, so it will become xt minus t0, put it in here in the output, and this will be the output of the first answer. In the second case, we'll replace every t by t minus 0. We're replacing every t by t minus 0. And now you see the output is same in both the cases. Equation 1 is equal to equation 2. Hence, the system is time invariant. So I hope you have been able to follow this. And you should now be comfortable in solving time invariant questions. Thank you.